Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari, and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection. I hope you have been watching this series. Uh, it has actually been a lot of fun for me because it gives me an opportunity to actually go through my collection and see what I have. Um, and I've been enjoying talking about it. A couple of them I feel like I need to add uh, to my rotation because it kind of been sitting in the back of my collection. If you have not uh, caught the earlier versions of this series, it is in the description uh, under full fragrance collection. Click on the um, playlist and that way you can get all caught up. But to each and every one of y'all who've been rolling with me each and every day as we have been trying to uh, get through my collection, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will not hold you. I wanted to continue to go on, but I wanted to make sure that you are subscribed, that you turn on your notification, because even though these videos are coming up every single day, normally I post maybe two times a week. Hope you are having as much fun as I am. Let's keep going. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's talk about Iris and Oris Root. When I think of these fragrances, I think of fragrances that I can wear to a wedding. Maybe a bride would have this on, on her wedding day. My first one is going to be Angel Dust. Angel Dust by Francesca Bianche. Uh, has Iris, Mimosa, Benzoin, Vanilla, Sandalwood, Rose, and Black Pepper. The black pepper note is not like very strong, so don't worry yourself about it being too, uh, too like too spicy, right? Uh, where it can kind of choke you. This is like a very delicate powdery fragrance. It's absolutely beautiful. It's one of those fragrances that I I find that I reach for these that we're gonna talk about when I just want to fresh out the shower kind of feel. Like I just want to be fresh. Then I wear these. Another one by Francesca is going to be Luke's uh, Karma uh, Balut, I think. This one, the difference in it, and I find that her fragrances have a lot of similarities because they all have that powdery base to them. But this one is uh, Bitter Orange Tangerine Tropical Fruits. So it's like a really fruity opening, and then the base settles down to a... Um, like a heliotrope type note, ylang ylang with some sandalwood. So not as powdery as Angel Dust, but still that DNA of a powdery fragrance. This one here, um, as long as I can find it, I'm gonna always go get it. And that is Black Perfecto by La, La Pizze Robe Noir. This was a wonderful find. Um, I smelt it on someone at Glamcation, and I was like, what do you have on? <laughs> and she told me, and I immediately went on my phone, and I ordered it. This is absolutely classy and beautiful uh, by Guerlain. It is sour cherry almond black tea, rose, and surprisingly, it has licorice and leather. And I say surprisingly because I'm not one who like either licorice or leather as much. <laughs> uh, the Tonka Bean. This is such a gorgeous fragrance. Like the Sour Cherry Almond is this, you know, the typical Le Petit Robe Noir, right? But then when you add in that licorice and that leather, it gives it more of a like a body to it. Makes it absolutely wonderful. Black Perfecto. Perfect is what they should have named it, which is probably what Perfecto is. <laughs> My next one is going to be Ambery. Ambery uh, by, uh, what is this? Harmitch, I think, is uh, Amber, Powdery Nose, Bergamot, and Woody Nose. This smells like, um, what can I describe this as? like baby powder right so like on a hot day this is before baby powder was found to have caused problems right 
But on a hot day, you would powder yourself down with baby powder. Or they would have, or if you went to, like, say, your mom's or your grandmother's house, and they may still have this. It needs to be perfume in a powder form that you would powder your body with. Well, that is what this reminds me of like those type of days that um that level of life where when a woman would pout she would have on a robe and she would powder herself and then she would get dressed and then put a perfume on uh that is the idea of this fragrance uh so amber with powdery notes in it beautiful to me this one here is a noble 1942 it's called chefe um cafe chancette it is sour cherry star anise. It has heliotrope and iris in it. So it's a beautifully pow powdery note to it. Vanilla and benzoin. This is my go-to when I just want to be fresh. Like say it's a hot day here in Texas and I just want to be fresh, right? I want, I, I want to feel refreshed, but I don't want to wear a citrus fragrance. Then I reach for this one here because it kind of gives me a, a cherry, a cherryish powder note. Reminds me a lot of Japanese um, cherry blossom uh, by Bath and Body Works or the um, what is it, Jergens uh, lotion. It reminds me of those type of things. So those are probably scents that I can probably layer, or you would layer with this one here uh, because it's really fresh, a really fresh kind of scent. This one here is Apollonia by Giorgio. I think that is the perfect bridal scent. I think it's the perfect bridal scent because you get white flowers, orris, and white musk. Very delicate, very elegant. Um, it has great sillage to it. I think this is the perfect bridal scent, Apollonia. This is another one of those gorgeous ones that has a powdery undertone to it and is Fatal Charm by George Off. It opens up with a powdery base, very similar to like I was describing of that uh, perfume powder that women used to wear. Um, it does have aldehydes in it, orris root, floral notes, but then it's this surprisingly spicy tobacco dry down. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, great if i would do apollonium as the bride maybe uh charm fatal charm as the uh, mother of the bride and i think gorgeous together would be beautiful together since we're talking about weddings let's just go ahead and give the groom a scent right <laughs> uh this is our cento. it has pineapple it has iris and jasmine and pink pepper in it uh, it does have the, um, iris in it. So there is a cleanness to it, but I think the pineapple and the musk and vetiver that's in this fragrance will make it stand out. So a uh, groom, bride, mother of the bride, or a uh, mother of the groom, this wedding would be absolutely amazing. Everybody's wearing, wearing Georgia, everybody's smelling good. Okay. This one here is by House of Oud, and it is Birth of or Breath of Infinity, and it has Freesia, Peony, and then a Broxen. So you know I love a Broxen, right? Um, Cash Marion is in it, but there's this there's a note in it that has a powdery dry down. It's not listed in the fragrance, but I really feel like it either has a orris root in it. Or it has um, maybe heliotrope, uh, but it's not listed. But to my nose, it has a powdery dry down in it. So that's why it's in the section with all my powdery fragrances. To round off my powdery fragrances, I'm going to talk about Shalimar Souffle Intense. This is such a gorgeous fragrance. Oh my God, I really, really, truly enjoy this fragrance. Um, I had a couple of Shalimars for a while there. I was buying all of them. I think I had one that had an orange note in it, uh, the regular Shalimar. But this is the one that I ended up keeping. And I kept it simply because of this 
gorgeous blend of like an orris note in it. It's like a souffle, right? It starts off bergamot, lemon, mandarin, orange. So you get like this citrus opening. Then this orange blossom comes in and jasmine comes in. But then the powdery dry down in it is what made me want to put it in this category. Um, and I want to say it's orris root that's in it with vanilla and white musk. Beautiful fragrance. Beautiful bottle. Beautiful fragrance. Reminds me so much of when I first got into fragrances in Shalimar and Cashmere was like the fragrance you were supposed to wear. It was a fragrance the first lady had on, or it was the fragrance your favorite teacher wore. Uh, so I I stuck with Shalimar for those memories, and then I ended up keeping Shalimar Souffle Intense because I actually enjoyed it. So this is all of my powdery fragrances that I have in my collection, and this is when I just want to be clean and fresh and just smell real elegant. These are perfect fragrances when I get invited to weddings or bridal showers. Then I go to this category right here and I pick me a fragrance. Hello, hello. Thank you for watching the video and staying tuned. If you are enjoying this series, put a star in the comments. Uh, today we talked about and I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope that it was interesting to you that I told you of some fragrances that you could get into, that you could add to your collection. But I always want to know, what do you have that I need to get into? What do I need to start uh, smelling? I have no problem with sampling or decanting or, or getting some new scents. So in the topic we talked about today, if you know of a fragrance I need to add, Tell me about it. But on that note, I hope you have a wonderful night and I'll see you in the next video.